So we set about ourselves six years ago with a vision of how could we as an industry play a role to be a catalyst for an economic renaissance and to create a mecca of innovation. How could we do that? How could we be engaged with the world, with our community in a new way to rewrite our story that empowered everybody in the community? So very quickly, it happened. We were part of a large ecosystem that began to work. And so we went as a state from eight years ago being ranked 45th in the country in terms of entrepreneurship and innovation to fifth in eight years. We started moving really, really fast because we as an industry changed our paradigm from a paradigm of scarcity, which was woe is us, we don't have the venture capital, we don't have the world-class educational institution, to whoa, look at what we have, to really a paradigm of abundance. We have all of these amazing assets in our community. If we begin to work together, what could we do and then tell our story? And it happened and it worked. And we started moving really, really fast. One of the fastest growing tech sectors in the country. There was, however, a problem that we quickly faced, which was we didn't have the talent. So we began to say, how is it that we are preparing our students for our jobs? And as we did that, we began to realize that we had a big problem. The other thing we realized, it wasn't just our problem. It was everybody's problem. It was every industry in every region in the state is facing the same problem of not having the talent to drive our companies. When we asked educators and innovators and businesses, how well are we preparing the creative problem solvers that we need for our businesses? Regardless, of what that business is. We all need creative problem solvers. How well are we doing that? And everybody said, we're not. We're doing a good job creating compliant learners. We're not doing a good job creating inspired learners. And we said, let's our industry come into a school and begin to listen to the kids and create with the kids, find purpose, and then empower that purpose with new skills. Could we do that? what might happen. And when we did that, we found that our kids just embraced, were excited, and became these creative problem solvers that we need. So herein lies, then, Innovate Oregon, which is an idea, an aspiration, a vision to create an inclusive innovation-based economy here that's going to have the talent that's going to drive that new possibility, that's going to unleash this creative genius in our students and our entire community to create in new ways, bringing together partners from around the state around a shared vision and to take that vision and to make a difference.